right guys, today is April 16th. It is about 11.55 and our collection is about to drop. Something by Sanji times Monroe Steel Wanderlust Collection. I'm sitting here doing my makeup, actually in the middle of filming another YouTube video because the work never ends. And I have my girl here. Hi. And we are just patiently waiting for noon. It's 11.57 now. Here on the East Coast, it's about, what, 8.57 in the morning? Seven. The West Coast? Oh yeah, go to the, uh, I just loaded the... Holy oh. shamoli. It's up. The home page, come on. Why is the video going so slow? <gasps> I see it! Ah! It's so cute. I like your new logo too. Oh my god, Thank it's you. so cute! I love it. Ooh. Oh, it's super freaking cute! Not my computer about to die. <laughs> now I gotta scramble. One second. One minute, one minute. It's gonna drop in one minute, you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! Hopefully it works out. Let's see. The website is so freaking cute. Oh, look at that home page. So cute. Are you ready? It's gonna do it on its own, right? Yeah, it better. Let me hope it doesn't, because I saw I got a scramble. Oh no. How will you know if like sales are being made? Will you get like an alert or something? Yes, ma'am. Oh my god. And yes, ma'am. It's noon. Is anything happening? <gasps> it's up! And it's stuck. Alright, let's see if anybody buys anything. Purchase. We have our first purchase. Let's see what they get. The Miami dress. <laughs> Four sales in five. five sales in two minutes. And that's number six. Number six? Ah! We're selling out. <laughs> oh my god. It's happening. Ten. Well. Eleven. Oof. Very nice. Okay. Hello everyone, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. So today I have a really fun spend the day in Miami Beach with me vlog for you guys. I'm gonna be showing you a quick haul of a few like spring and summer goodies that I got in from Nasty Gal. This video is in partnership with Nasty Gal, so special thanks to Nasty Gal for sponsoring today's video. You guys, I got so many cute things, including this little set. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm also heading over to the Lincoln Road Antique Flea Market today. You all know that I love going to the flea market on Sundays and seeing what they have. I'm gonna show you whatever I end up buying. I'm gonna take you a little bit behind the scenes and show you how it is. And I also have a friend in town today my girl Vicky Victoria Vic Styles or the Vic Styles on Instagram I actually spoke about her in a previous vlog she is vegan she's really into like holistic skincare health just natural things like she was the one who put me on to using the manuka honey for my face she happens to be in town so I'm meeting up with her in the Miami design district and we're gonna do some shopping because y'all, they have an Aquasaurus shoe sample sale happening. Yes, 260 sample sale is here in Miami Beach at the Miami Design District. This sale has been going on for a few days and I've avoided going, but I'm gonna go. And I'm gonna take you guys with me and I'm gonna show you what I buy because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna buy some shoes today, y'all. So a day full of shopping, I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into my outfit of the day, which is from Nasty Gal. And don't forget to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Please join the family. Help get your girl to 50K. All right, let's get into my outfit of the day and my Nasty Gal haul. All right, guys, so my outfit of the day is this super cute two-piece 
baby blue knit set from nasty gal i love a set like a monochrome colored look this is really luxe you guys like the knit on this is super soft you guys know how i feel about ribbing it has these what four buttons and then it just kind of opens up uh super luxe it covers your bum which is great it comes with these matching pants that are kind of a little bit wide they are high-waisted they have a super thick strap here that has a little bit of stretch and they just make you look great now i'm five foot six inches tall you guys can kind of see where these pants hit me they're fairly long you can definitely wear them with a heel if you want to elevate it a bit i mean this is elevated loungewear you guys know loungewear is huge so i feel like designers and brands are figuring out ways to transition like cute loungewear to the street and this is it i mean it's so cute you can show just a tiny little bit of stomach you can unbutton it a little bit and i also love that it has a collar and the collar is also ribbed like this set is everything i hope they still have it in stock for you guys if so i will link it down below for you i might even have a coupon code definitely use my coupon code use those links below and grab yourself this set i'm wearing a size medium in the top as well as the bottom and it fits perfectly and it's super cozy and comfortable like the fabric it's really well made that's the first thing that i got in from nasty gal let's go ahead and get into the rest of the nasty gal haul but you guys let me put on some earrings because i feel naked i do i don't know why i even come on here with no earrings on like why do i do that and of course i would grab an earring that doesn't have an earring back like should i wear these these are cute for now i'll probably wear something else later these are a pair of my favorite earrings from Lili Sadohi. They don't make these anymore. I kind of don't wear them a lot because when I do, I get asked so many questions about them. Well, on film, I don't wear them a lot because then people are disappointed that they're sold out and, all, and old. I don't like disappointing people, so yeah. But Lili Sadohi does have some beautiful earrings. These are my favorite from her like they're these binocular paint splatter earrings and they're just everything the lip of course is ColourPop limbo really you just gonna fall off like that while i'm recording how rude all right guys to start off my nasty gal haul let's get into some accessories i did get these sunglasses i'm really into sunglasses y'all know i've been collecting them ever since i moved to miami i've become full-fledged sunglass hoarder but these are super affordable i love that kind of brown tint on them and then it's like a deep brown grayish blue color around the rim they're super cute and super cool i'm pretty sure they were like less than 10 bucks too so if you're in the market for some really cool really stand out statement sunglasses definitely check out nasty gal i will link these down below along with a few more of uh my favorites from the website because i can't get them all y'all i got too many sunglasses but even these with this outfit like should i do a thumbnail let's see Super cute. I'm not gonna use that thumbnail by the way. I just do that because it's so fun and every time I see a video and it does that, like I love it. So there we go. Now let's get into this footwork. Nasty Gal has such cute like sandals and heels for the summer and for spring. I keep feeling like it's summer because I live in a very warm place now. Look at this y'all. Oh, when I saw these, I put them in my cart so quick. They are pretty much gold lame mules. Now y'all know if I was a shoe, I would be a mule. I have more mules in my shoe collection than any other type of shoe. This is definitely giving me Bottega vibes, but they have that square toe that's really in. And I mean, just that gold lame. Y'all know I love gold. Oh, so good. The heel is a really good heel height. Oh, you guys. 
I got these in my normal size, which is a 41. I am a US size 10. And I mean, look. Ugh, they are stunning. They look really cute with this outfit. Oh, I love them. Oh, so cost effective too. I think they might also come in silver. So if you're more of a silver gal, I'll link both down below for you all. True to size, go with your normal size. Very easy to walk in, super cozy and comfortable. They do have a little padding down in the bottom. And I mean, they look way more expensive than they are. And they are actually really well made as well. So I'll link these, you know where, down below. Ugh, they're stunning. I mean, I'm gonna wear these with everything this summer. I hope y'all know with my bathing suits, my little cover-ups, my little knit dresses, this set and whatever else that I got from Nasty Gal, like this is gonna go with everything. All of my jewelry is gold, so that's great. So those are two of the accessories I picked up from Nasty Gal. I also have a bag. Let me grab it. When I saw this on the website, the model really did it justice. Like I can't even front the model, the way she was modeling this, like did it for me. First of all, I love pink. It's one of my favorite colors and one of the hottest colors of the season, especially this kind of bright bubblegum pink. I love that this bag has a top handle with gold hardware. Well, not real gold, but you know what I mean. I'm here for the fringe. I love a fringe moment. Fringe is in, fringe is fun and it has that fringe on both sides. The material is very, very lightweight. I thought that this was gonna be like a more hefty bag. It's super light. It's made almost of like a suede almost. Um, it does have a little closure, a little twist closure here in the front and it's black on the inside. It's pretty spacious on the inside. It does have a zipper here for you to put things in and it does come with a cross body strap. And there's also another cute little detail on the side. It has these little straps and then you just put it through this loop here. And then here in the front, there's like a button and you can put it into a button. So what that does, I'm gonna show you in a minute, is that creates more of like, almost like a a bag effect instead of it being square kind of like it is it gives it a more almost oval not oval but you guys know what i mean shape that's super cute and you can cinch it in there's three holes here so you can make it really cinched so that it's more like this or less cinched to make it more like square and that's a really cool feature let me show you how it looks with the sh the cross body strap the strap is Pretty long. Where do you clip the strap onto? Oh, the same little side button that the strap goes through. And I think this also comes in like brown. So brown is more your speed. So that's with the strap. And you can also loosen it pretty well to make it a crossbody. Super cute. And if you're not a crossbody type of person, you can always just carry it with the top handle like so. So a super cute little summer bag. I needed something with some color that like if I'm wearing a lot of neutrals or a lot of whites or even just like denim to have a nice pop of color in an accessory. I do have like one blue bag and a yellow bag and kind of an orangey bag, but nothing in pink, which is my favorite color. So now I have something in pink. I will link both this one and I think the other color brown that it comes in down below. Hopefully it's still available. And if you're in the market for a bag, check it out. So next up, I got this super cute top. Like I'm absolutely in love with like the look of wearing a head scarf, like a Chanel scarf or a vintage scarf as a, as a shirt. I do it all the time, but look at this. Now I have a denim top. This is also from Nasty Gal. It is super cute. I love the darts because it really gives you more shape. The darts really help. The thing about like scarves is that they don't have those darts to give you that like shape so that your boobs aren't squished. Love the dart. And you can see the back here has a zipper and the back is still kind of out, but absolutely love this. I got it in a US size six. 
UK size 10. Fits perfectly, fits like a dream. Hopefully it's still available. They have a ton of these on Nasty Gal website in different colors and different patterns. And I will link a few of my favorites for you guys. And I got that top to go with these denim jeans. I wanna do like a Canadian tuxedo moment. Ugh. So these jeans are super cute. What I love most about these jeans are, is that they are two-tone. You can see they have a darker blue here and like a lighter blue here, almost like an acid wash. It almost makes them look vintage and you guys know I'm living for vintage looks. As you can see, the back has the same like coloring as that front pocket. So it's kind of a two-tone jean, lighter in the back or a party in the back and business <laughs> in the front. And I love that they're kind of peg leg as well, being more of like a mom jean on the waist. I don't like really tight jeans throughout. I'm very much a mom jeans, high-waisted jeans kind of girl because I do have a smaller waist and wider hips and I like for my hips to breathe and my thighs to breathe. And so I love jeans like this. I got my normal size, a US size six, a UK size 10 and it fits perfectly. I could even see myself pairing these two together. Like that's the look I'm going for. Hopefully it's cute. And maybe I'll throw on these heels with it as well. That's a vibe. That's a look. And then I can even put the pink bag with it because it has the gold hardware. I did something y'all. Okay, let me show you what else I got in from Nasty Gal. All right guys, so next up, I got this really cute top. I actually have worn it already. <laughs> So let me turn it inside out so I can show it to you. It is a knit crop top in black. It definitely gives me like Jacquemus vibes. And this knit is very like delicate and like it feels expensive, like really. Very, very good quality ribbed bralette knit top. I actually wore this with some mom jeans and a boyfriend blazer over top and it was a vibe. It was a look. I got a size six, US size six, UK size 10 in this, and it fits perfectly. It's like a true medium. And I love that the straps are a little bit thicker as well for a little more support, being that this is a pretty much very stretchy knit, as you guys can see. So I got this top, and I also got this teeny tiny skirt. Now, I am really into like tie-dye and watercolor prints, especially anything with like red and orange because I don't actually like wearing just red by itself. I don't know why, I just, red just doesn't, I don't feel like I look cute in red. But I love this tie-dye. And it's like a sheer mesh over top of just a plain like black skirt. And super stretchy, I got the size six, US size 10 UK and it fits pretty good. It's a good length, a little short, but uh, I like it from Miami. It works just fine. I can pair it with this black top and like some cute little black sandals or even these gold sandals. And it's a super cute, just easy look. If you don't wanna show too much skin, you could definitely throw a black boyfriend blazer over top and you got yourself a look. All right guys, I did get a few tops because I realized, I don't know, I think I said this in a previous video, but I don't have enough tops. Like I have tons of skirts, I have tons of dresses, I have tons of denim jeans, tons of bottoms, but very limited selection of shirts that I brought from New York, I'm not sure why. So I stocked up on some lovely knits from Nasty Gal, let me show you the first one, is this little white ribbed halter top. Can you guys see the fabric? It's such a good fabric, a nice white knit, and it goes around your neck, and then it buttons in the back. And I feel like that's just so chic. I have another top like this that was actually handmade by um, a black designer, Garris Fatim. It's called the Tennis Top, and it has these two strings you could tie around. I wear that top so much, like I needed a backup because I was wearing it too much and I don't wanna ruin it. And this is a very similar top, it just doesn't have the straps. Very cost effective. You still get that super chic look that I wanted with the high neck 
of a turtleneck but still your whole entire like back is out again i got my normal size us size 6 uk size 10 fits perfectly a really good generous amount of stretch very well made i live for a rib like literally everything i've shown you so far has a rib speaking of a rib we have another another rib <laughs> this is an, a ribbed top it also has like that mock turtleneck it is basically like a halter top because the back is out and the back is similar to the other one except this is a bodysuit so it is a black ribbed knit bodysuit with a thong snaps at the bottom and then also wraps around your neck and i don't have any black tops so i thought i would just need a few this one is a very lightweight black ribbed knit really good quality as well like amazing quality for what it costs it feels a lot more substantial and a lot more expensive and you all know i love a good bodysuit but i really only wear thong bodysuits because i don't like panty lines showing got my normal size love it i think this comes in a few different colors so i will link all of my favorites in the description box and you can check them out next up i got a pair of shorts i really only have about five pair of shorts and living in miami i realized i need a lot more pairs of shorts and why not a nice denim short so this is a nice pair of denim shorts from Nasty Gal. What I love about these shorts is that they have that little fold down in the front. Like it's just a little something extra. The extra detailing is what does it for me. I feel like all of my shorts are somewhat unique. Like my denim ruffle shorts are pretty unique in that they kind of ruffle out. And then I have my Jacquemus shorts that have a really cool element with the pop of pink color and how high cut they are. And I mean, if I'm gonna wear shorts, I actually don't like wearing shorts too much, but if I'm gonna wear shorts, there has to be something cute about them. Loving this fold down detailing here, like very like a goldy reminiscent. Pockets in the back are nice and deep. I can store my things. And I love that these aren't like really, really like Daisy Duke shorts. These have a little bit more fabric to them, so they hit you closer to the, your mid thigh, which I love. You can kind of dress them up with a really cute sandal and maybe like a blazer. So caught those. And last, but certainly not least, you all know, I recently, maybe a few months ago, I did another haul from Nasty Gal showing some of their t-shirts and I got two Diana Ross t-shirts because y'all know I live for like a screen print tee. I think it's one of the easiest ways to like look put together and chic like model off duty without trying too hard this is actually one that i wanted to get and now i was able to get this is the rupaul screen print tee i mean face beat to the gods absolutely love it rupaul is an icon fabulous like hello and i just love the colors in this this tee i love the pinks i love that black i love the red i love the white the gray is almost like a comfort comfort feel gray. It feels vintage. You can wear it with a pair of mom jeans and like stripy sandals and it's a vibe. I got this also in a size medium. I get most of my tops in a size medium because I have broad shoulders and it fits wonderfully. In addition to this top, they have a ton of screen print tees with like Diana Ross. So loving this screen print tee. They have so many on the site, so I'll be sure to link a few of my favorites down below and you can check them out. Special thanks to Nasty Gal for sponsoring this portion of the video. Remember, I probably, I maybe do have a coupon code for you guys. So if I do, I'll put it in a pinned comment down below and you can use it and hopefully save some coins. Everything I've shown you is linked down below. And now I'm gonna go ahead and head to the Lincoln Road Flea Market. I'm very excited to see what they have today. Oh, also, I got a bed, you guys. Did you see? <laughs> I finally got my bed from uh, CB2. I'll link it down below. I'm loving this bed. I'm gonna do a bedroom tour soon with links to everything in my bedroom so be on the lookout for that i think i already recently did one of my living room so if you're interested in anything you've seen in these like vlogs 
in my living room definitely check out that video it's already live i'm looking for a few little knickknacks for my space so let's go ahead and go to the lincoln road flea market I am back from the Lincoln Road Antique Flea Market. It usually happens every Sunday from about, I don't know, vendors start setting up around 9.30 until about 6. I think they have a website, so definitely check it out and make sure it's going on before you head over here to Lincoln Road. But I got something. They have such good things today. I mean, especially when it comes to home decor, there's this one like vendor who has so many cool like vessels and vases and just really cool like things that I've never seen before. Lots of people with clothes, vintage dresses. It was just, it was everything. It was. And I really tried hard not to buy everything. I did. but. I did buy something for the house. I don't know if you all noticed, but I do have a dining table now. More on that soon. I saw this little vessel and I could not pass it up. I think it would look cute on my new dining table. If not, I'll find somewhere for it to go, but so cute. This was only 20 bucks, so not bad at all considering most of the vessels I've gotten from like CB2 or Crate and Barrel for like double, maybe even triple that price. <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute. I mean, it's stunning, really. It's gorgeous. Like, look at her. How neat. So this was made in Portugal. I love that it's not perfectly upright it's actually a little crooked so adorable i mean the shape of it is just really cool i need to hold on to it because i want it. i don't want it to fall and break but what i have like envisioned for this is putting a really like tall monstera leaf in it you guys know i love monstera leaves and they just grow out of the ground here in florida like in miami they're everywhere like just growing out of the ground just like out in nature and I'm just like, do you know how much they sell these for in New York City at the floors? Like $15 for one. And I can literally just go outside and cut one. I should start a side hustle. Anywho, I can just see like putting one of those in here and that big burst of greenery coming out of this like right on my dining room table and it just being stunning. I'm always finding cute little gems at that flea market. So very, very happy about that. All right, I'm gonna freshen up a bit. I think I'm gonna change my earrings. I might change my shoes. By the way, I did walk around in these at the flea market and they held up nicely. Very, very comfortable. And I will link these again. I think I'm gonna change my earrings and just give this look a different vibe for the Miami Design District because it's a who's who. 
and i'm also meeting up with my girl vic i think one of her friends and her cousin we're gonna do a little bit of shopping so once i'm back i'll show you guys what i got in so let's get ourselves together actually i'm gonna find a cute place to put this and decorate it and i'll i'll show you guys probably in the next vlog so yeah definitely check out that market they got some cute stuff let me get myself together and we are going to head to the miami design district and meet up with my girl vic and also head to the aqua Zura sample sale all right guys i got myself quickly together wearing this limbo ColourPop lip and these Y Project earrings. I get a lot of questions about these earrings. They are sold out, unfortunately, but I have linked a few of my favorite like big hoop ear statement earrings down below in the description box for you guys. I am going to go with this baby blue set from the Nasty Gal haul I did for you guys earlier. I'm absolutely loving it and pairing it with my Colt Gaia shoes. I need to figure out a bag and then I'm gonna head to the design district and meet my girl Vic from the Vic Styles. We're gonna meet up, probably do a little shopping in the Miami Design District, maybe have lunch. I'm just really looking forward to seeing her because I haven't, I believe I haven't seen her in person since the last time she was in a vlog, which was like maybe two years ago. We did this vlog where we kind of talked about the trials and tribulations of being like a blogger and a vlogger and a YouTuber. She was in it and lended her ear to it. And also she wrote a little piece in a blog post I did about it as well. So I'll link that blog post down below. She is amazing, very holistic, and I just love her. She has such a great heart. Let me show you my shoes and the rest of my outfit. All right, guys, so here's my full outfit of the day. It's actually really hot today, so I wanted something to kind of cover me up also i'm running out of sunblock y'all sunscreen i'm wearing it so much this is the two-piece knit set i showed you guys earlier from my nasty gal haul oh it fits so good the knit is very lightweight and like this style of knit and this set is very just on trend right now with this baby blue i already told you the Y project earrings for the shoes we're wearing my colt gaia renee sandals i absolutely love these i can definitely walk in them much easier now that i've kind of been practicing for a while they are fairly easy to walk in after about a day you kind of get used to it so yeah i can actually walk around the streets <laughs> with these on and people love these i get so many compliments so i think this set comes in a few different colors i am wearing the size small so i will link it down below and you guys can check it out let me put on a scent and find a bag that I'm gonna call my Uber and head on out. All right guys, so for today's scent, we're going with Gucci Flora because I'm just feeling it. Feeling very spring, very summer, very florally with the scent. And I'm gonna top off the look with these sunglasses that I showed you guys earlier from Nasty Gal. They do kind of have like a little blue tint in them. So I feel like they will go well. I also switched into my Louis earrings because I don't know. I just wanted smaller earrings. So let's grab a bag and let's go.
just leaving the 260 sample sale, the Aquazora sale. I bought a little something. I will do an unboxing when I get home. I'm gonna meet Vic at Pure Vita, get myself an acai bowl. I'm feeling accomplished. Definitely visit 260 sample sale in Miami. You guys know I always go to the one in New York. It's really good. I got two pairs of shoes for 250 bucks. And like one pair of those shoes don't even retail for that much. So pretty happy with my purchases. Let's get some food. from the design district. I met up with my girl Vic there, the Vic Styles on Instagram. I think I mentioned her a few times. She does a lot of like holistic things from skincare to veganism. I just love her, she's amazing. And I also met two of her friends, her cousin and one of her friends, I think her name is Lola, who's really nice as well. She's also an influencer. So we met up at Simonette, which is one of my favorite places to shop in the Miami Design District. They have really cool clothes. They're online as well. I have like these three kind of knit tie up tops from them that they are known for. Every time I wear those tops, every Everyone loves them but they always have like really cool things in their store here in Miami Design District. We met up there we kind of just like looked around. Vic actually bought a few things. They have some really cool like puffy sandals. They have really nice jewelry. Lots of like little shell jewelry. But I even love their candles. Those little candles. They sell all different kinds of candles. Different shapes. And then they have their clothes. That was nice. So then after that we popped into the 260 sample sale. I've talked about 260 sample sales so much. If you're looking for sample sales in the Miami, LA, New York City area, definitely follow 260 sample sale on Instagram. You can get all the details on when the sample sales are happening. The Aquazura sale has been going on since I want to say last Tuesday, but I just didn't make it out to check it out. I think they have like a day or two left so there were significant markdowns i ended up getting two pairs of shoes i'm gonna show you guys what i got but yeah the sample sale was amazing like they had some really great styles mostly everything was like under 200 bucks like it was just an array and i love aquazura so i couldn't pass it up y'all so this is the first pair of shoes. They have such cute boxes as well. I've been wanting a pair of purple puffs and Aquazura came through. Do you guys see these? They are stunning. They are purple suede pumps. And I mean, they are just divine. Look at these cute little tassels on the back. Like, ugh. It's the details for me. Like, I love those little cutouts. These shoes look so sexy on. These came up to $150 and they were 30% off, so they were $105 at the sample sale. Like, I think these retail for like 400 and something, so really great deal. Definitely gonna do some color blocking with these. Ugh, gorgeous for 105 bucks, like, can't beat it. Now this second pair, I've actually been wanting these for a while and I'm really surprised that they actually even still had them this late in the sale. But, ugh. <laughs> Look at them! They're so good. So it's these fringe mules and I actually almost bought these from Farfetch for like way more than I paid for them at the sample sale. They're in this beautiful brown suede, and I mean, 
they look so sexy on they're just beautiful they also had these in black and in red i wish i could have gotten all three but they only had these in my size but i think it's good because i have a brown fringe suede jacket that i think will go amazing with these and also these are just more of a neutral so they will be a lot easier to style with other things that are already in my wardrobe these were $230 and then they were 30% off so they came up to $161. Oh, these still my heart. I love a sample sale, like that sample sale was everything. I almost bought another pair of shoes but I'm trying to save y'all. I've been spending too much money but if the shoe fits, buy them in every color. That's what the box says. Aqua Zero knows what's up. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5.08 p.m. All right, so it's 5.08 p.m., which means it's time for a glass of Chardonnay. It's one, it's one o'clock. for today's vlog today's spend the day with me i hope you enjoy coming with me to the flea market and seeing my flea market finds i'm pretty sure they have this market almost every sunday on lincoln road in miami beach so if you're around if you're in the city definitely check it out i'm on sundays and also special thanks to nasty gal for sponsoring today's video you guys know i love nasty gal like this set is everything and everything that you saw in the haul is linked down below in the description box remember i am five foot six i'm usually a size six or a size medium us and every single thing shown i hope you enjoy coming with me to the miami design district and like buying shoes because that's what we do over here thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video please do give your girl a thumbs up subscribe please subscribe i would love to have you i don't want you to miss any of my videos so make sure you go ahead and click that notification bell as well and i will see you all in the next one bye guys